Welcome to Portugal where food isn't just a necessity but an art and a tradition. Portuguese cuisine offers a sensory experience with each bite telling a story of history, culture and love for, for fine ingredients. Its rich and diverse flavors originate from the, the varied landscapes, blending land sea, old and new. Seafood by the Atlantic coastline plays a starring role but it's not just about fish, it's a melting pot of flavors, transforming simple ingredients into culinary masterpieces. Each region from the mountainous north to the southern beaches contributes to this gastronomic tapestry. Meals are enjoyed leisurely, often several hours, with recipes passed down generations, Portugal is equally for its pastries, showcasing its love for all things sweet. Food is a language in Portugal, it's a culinary journey that transcends, transcends the kitchen to evoke emotions and cultivate. So, get ready for a feast, not just for the stomach, but also for the soul. We're about to dive into some of Portugal's mouth-watering. If you're enjoying this culinary journey, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more delicious adventures. First up on our culinary journey we find ourselves savoring a sausage like no other. Picture a sausage, but not just any sausage. This is the Alheira de Mirandela, a unique delicacy hailing from Portugal. This sausage has a tale as rich as its flavor, born out of the necessity of the Jewish people during the Inquisition to disguise their religious identity. They crafted this sausage, traditionally filled with poultry and bread instead of the expected pork, thus cleverly maintaining their dietary laws while outwardly conforming to local customs. The Alheira de Mirandela is not just about its history though, its preparation is an art form, with the sausage typically smoked and then fried or grilled to perfection. The end result? A crispy exterior that gives way to a soft, flavorful filling, and the taste. It's a delectable mix of smokiness, savory poultry, and the subtle textures of bread. This isn't your average sausage, it's a hearty taste of Portuguese tradition. Next, we're diving deep into the flavors of the sea. The quintessential seafood dish of Portugal, bacalao abras. At its heart, it's a simple and humble recipe consisting of shredded salted cod, golden fried potatoes, and caramelized onions, all bound together with scrambled eggs. But don't let its simplicity fool you. Each bite packs a punch, a salty, savory explosion that takes you straight to the rugged Portuguese coastline. The salted cod, or bacalao, is the star of the show, a beloved ingredient that's been a staple in Portuguese kitchens for centuries. The potatoes and onions provide a comforting, earthy base, while the eggs create a creamy, indulgent texture. But it's the flavor that truly shines, a perfect balance of sea saltiness, savory richness, and a hint of sweetness from the onions. Bacalao abras is more than just a dish, it's a taste of Portugal's maritime history, its love for the sea, and its culinary prowess. A dish that truly captures the essence of Portugal's maritime culture. Our next stop takes us to a comforting, humble yet flavor-packed soup. Welcome to the world of Caldo Verde, a classic Portuguese soup that warms the soul and fills the belly. This traditional dish is a beautiful symphony of simple ingredients. It starts with a base of golden onions and garlic, sautéed to perfection before potatoes are added and simmered until tender. Next comes the star of the show, the kale, sliced into incredibly thin strips. This isn't just any kale mind you but Portuguese kale, known for its dark green leaves and robust flavor. It's added to the soup and cooked just until it wilts, maintaining some of its vibrant color and bite. And let's not forget the final touch, slices of smoky churico sausage providing a meaty contrast to the soft potatoes and kale. Caldo Verde is more than just a soup. It's a comforting hug in a bowl that has warmed Portuguese homes for generations. Simple ingredients bound together to create a comforting culinary masterpiece. Now let's indulge our sweet tooth with a treat that's as delightful as it is iconic. Enter the pastel de nata, a staple in Portugal's bakeries, cafes, and hearts. Picture a small round pastry with a crispy flaky crust that crackles delicately with each bite. Nestled within this golden shell is a custard filling, creamy and sweet with just the right hint of tartness to balance it out. It's a symphony of textures and flavors, each bite an experience unto itself. The pastel de nata is more than just a dessert. It's a testament to the art of Portuguese baking, a symbol of the country's rich culinary heritage. Whether served at room temperature or slightly warmed perhaps with a sprinkle of cinnamon or a dusting of powdered sugar, these little custard tarts never fail to enchant. They're the perfect companion to a strong espresso, a sweet ending to a hearty meal, or a delightful midday treat. Truly, a small bite of heaven that leaves a lasting impression. From the land, we return to the sea with a dish that's a true seafood lover's delight. Get ready to dive into the world of polvo alagareiro, 
a delightful octopus dish that hails from the Portuguese coastline. This dish, like a sonnet of the sea, is a testament to the remarkable simplicity of Portuguese cuisine. It's about letting the ingredients shine, and in this case, the star is the octopus. Cooked to tender perfection, every bite is a burst of the sea's flavor, enhanced by a drizzle of olive oil and a sprinkle of sea salt. Polvo Alagareiro isn't just a meal, it's an experience, a homage to the Portuguese's love for seafood. It's the embodiment of the country's culinary ethos, where the quality of ingredients is everything, and the cooking process respects that. It's the simplicity and freshness that makes this dish a standout. A true seafood delight, Polvo Alagareiro is a must-try on any voyage through Portuguese cuisine. Prepare yourself for a sandwich that redefines the term loaded, Picture this, the Francesinha, a sandwich that's a hearty meal in itself. Originating from Porto, this culinary marvel is not for the faint-hearted. Picture layers of fresh bread, packed with an assortment of meats, from ham to steak to sausage. But what really sets this sandwich apart is the crowning layer of melted cheese and a drenching of rich tomato and beer-based sauce. The Francesinha is not just a sandwich, it's an experience. Each bite sends you on a journey through a landscape of rich flavors, from the tangy sauce to the savory meats and melted cheese. It's like a symphony of taste that leaves you feeling satisfied and content. The Francesinha is a testament to the creativity and boldness of Portuguese cuisine, pushing the boundaries of what a sandwich can be. This isn't just a sandwich, it's a gastronomic experience. Last but certainly not least, we arrive at a dish that's a symphony of flavors. Cataplana, named after the clam-shaped copper pan it's cooked in, is a marvelous medley of the freshest seafood, succulent pork, ripe tomatoes and aromatic herbs. The secret to Cataplana's rich complex flavors lies in its slow-cooked process. As these ingredients simmer together, they create a harmonious melody of taste and aroma that is simply irresistible. Each bite offers a different note, a new discovery. But Cataplana is more than just a dish. It's a celebration of Portugal's love affair with the sea. It's a testament to the nation's culinary creativity, blending land and sea in a single pan. It's a dish that tells a story, of fishermen coming home after a long day, of families gathered around the table, of a culture that finds joy in simplicity and authenticity. A culinary crescendo that perfectly encapsulates the spirit of Portuguese cuisine. Well, there you have it. A whirlwind journey through the delightful world of Portuguese cuisine. We ventured from the coastal towns to the bustling city streets. These dishes embody the essence of Portuguese tradition. They are a celebration of simple ingredients, skillful preparation, and most importantly, a love for good food. Before ending the video, tell us your favorite dish, and let us know which other dishes should have appeared. Until next time, keep exploring, and keep eating.